Sometimes the definition of tensor properties is a bit tricky. Think for example of the transpose and the trace, because we do not want to rely on the matrix representation. In the case of the identity tensor and the tensor inverse, however, the definition is straightforward, as you will learn in this video. Furthermore, we will also take a look into the similarity of this with linear algebra, so let us take a look. First, the identity tensor I. So what's that? Well, I can probably guess already. I times A is A for all A. So I times A just leaves A as it is. So what do you know about its components? What would happen if you try to write this as a matrix? Well, your I, I, J, as always, if you want to know the components, computes EI inner product with tensor times EJ. So that's what we do. EI times uh, inner product is I times EJ. I times EJ, well, that's the identity, just leaves EJ where it is. And EI inner product EJ gives you delta IJ. So if you write this as a matrix, you just get the identity matrix. So that is the identity matrix. That goes very fast, exactly the same as what happens in linear algebra. Now, what about the inverse of a tensor T? Also, same idea as in linear algebra. S is the inverse of a tensor T if S times T equals T times S equals identity tensor. Uh, and the notation is S equals T to the power minus 1. So you pronounce this as T inverse. That's the only tricky part. Uh, you cannot divide by matrices and so on. So this notation is a bit deceptive. So you pronounce it always as S equals T inverse. No divisions here. Um, then we uh, uh, have a few uh, properties. What about the matrix? Well, we know the, uh, 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 the, the identity matrix is given by T times T inverse and its matrix because identity equals T times T inverse. We know that the uh, matrix of a product of tensors equals the product of the uh, matrices of the separate tensors. So this equals matrix of T times matrix of T inverse. Uh, now this has to be the identity matrix because this over here is the identity matrix. So what is the uh, matrix of T inverse here? Well, together with T it has to give the identity matrix. So the matrix of T inverse has to be the matrix of T inverse. So exactly what you would expect. The um, uh, matrix of the inverse of a tensor it's just the matrix of the tensor and then inverted. And also the other familiar rules ho hold. So if you take the transpose first and then invert, it's the same as inverting first and then taking the transpose, just as with matrices, because all of this works the same as with matrices. And if you take a product T times S inverse, you take the inverses of the uh, parts of the product, but in the opposite order. So S inverse times T inverse, Again, just as with linear algebra. And fourth rule, if your t is invertible and you want to solve t times a equals b, and you happen to know the inverse of t, then you can write a straight away as t inverse times b. So identity tensor and inverse of a tensor are exactly uh, uh, as you would expect from linear algebra.